Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. In the previous episodes, we have seen how we can use Microsoft Copilot Studio to build custom copilots on top of documents and content stored in SharePoint Online and OneDrive libraries. Now, in this episode, I want to show you how you can easily host such custom copilots in the UI of SharePoint Online using a SharePoint Framework extension, so that your end users will not even need to leave the UI and the context of SharePoint Online to interact with the custom copilot based on the content of the site where they are. So, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice. So this is the new UI of Microsoft Copilot Studio, the one just released after Microsoft Build Conference. And in this one, you can see we have the HR Copilot single sign-on custom copilot that I showed you in the previous episode of this series of episodes about Copilot Studio. In this one, I simply rely on a set of documents stored in a SharePoint Online site collection within a document library. But now, what I want to show you is how you can have this kind of experience. So you can have a custom button, for example, in the lower part of the screen. And the end users, by clicking on this button, will be able to activate an interactive uh, custom copilot uh, UI chat that they can use to provide prompts to our custom copilot and get back answers based on the content of the site collection. So for example, here I have the single sign-on in place, so I'm already authenticated. I can simply say, what are the hiring procedures of our company? And ask copilot to give me an answer about that. And while I'm still, as an end user, in the UI of SharePoint Online, I can get back my content content based on the document that Copilot was able to find in the target site collection, which is the one where I am. So this is really uh, powerful and effective. In order to do that, I'm relying on a solution that you can find on GitHub and you will find the URL of this solution on GitHub in the uh, comments of this uh, video on YouTube. And this solution is a SharePoint framework solution which relies on a custom configured application configured in Azure Entra ID. So if I will switch to Entra ID, here we have the single sign-on reader application that we have seen already in the previous episodes and that we use to access SharePoint Online content with single sign-on. And I just want to remind you that this application does have an API exposed, which is uh, uh, with the permission scope hr.read. If you want to dig into how I created and configured this uh, application and the SSO experience uh, in uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio, you can have a look to the episode 286 of this series of episodes. But here I have also another application that I configured and which is called SSO uh, Canvas. In this application, which is the Canvas app that I'm going to use and that I'm using in the custom extension in SharePoint Online, I configure this application to have as an API permissions the hr.read permission delegated provided by the reader app. So that basically this is the app which will consume my reader app that relies on the uh, HR Copilot in Microsoft Copilot Studio. Uh, moreover, in the authentication section, I configured a, a, an authentication platform or type single page application, where I provided as the URL of the single page application, the URL of my SharePoint online site collection. Then in the Copilot Studio, if I edit the settings of my custom Copilot for single sign-on, here we can see that in the channel section, if I go here and I will click on mobile app channel, I can see that I have a token endpoint specific to this application, as well as I have the embed code if I want to embed this application in any other HTML mobile application. Now, I will rely on this type of channel to build my customization in SharePoint framework. And in fact, this is my SharePoint Framework Solution. Here I have an application customizer which is used to render the um, footer of the site. And in the footer, I simply rely on a React component that I'm rendering inside the UI of the application. The React component is the chatbot component that I have right here. This is a TSX component. And inside this TSX component, I will not dig into the details, but basically uh, this sample provided by Microsoft is relying on the uh, bot framework web chat 
uh, package that we can find here in the package.json of the application and by using that component it renders the actual UI of the chat which is connected to the uh, custom copilot in Microsoft Copilot Studio. How is it connected? Well, in the settings of the extension, we have a set of configuration settings like the bot URL, the bot name, how do we want to show the button text and stuff like that, as well as we also have the client ID and the authority that we want to use to access with a specific application registered in Entry ID the target custom copilot. And these are the settings of the application that I showed you before. So in order to um, use this application, you simply need to package it, to deploy it in the app catalog, and make it available in a target site collection. And then in that target site collection, using for example this PowerShell script that I provided for the sample solution provided by Microsoft, you simply need to connect to your target site collection, you need to get the custom action installed in your target site collection, and then you need to configure this minimal set of settings, including the bot URL, the scope, the client ID, and so on and so forth. Now, in my site collection, I've already used and configured the solution as you were able to see before. So I can simply get the action in my target site collection and I can show you the client component properties of this action. And here you can recognize that the bot URL is precisely the URL that we had in the channel configuration in the uh, Copilot Studio UI. The custom scope is the scope that we are going to use to consume the reader application and this is the one that we configured as a permission for our client application. And this is the client ID of the application that I showed you, the Canvas application that I showed you. Plus the authority, which will be the tenant that we have in target and for my scenario it is a multi-tenant application, so I'm using common. And then these are just uh, settings for the UI of the custom component. By doing that and by setting properly your SharePoint framework extension, you can achieve the result that I showed you and you can give to the, your end users the integrated experience to have a single sign-on based chat inside SharePoint Online. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.